Joining us to decode the media freakout upon the release of the Mueller report, as well as the Avenatti news, it was sort of a Monday's Follies twist, is Raymond Arroyo, author of the brand new book, Will Wilder, The Amulet of Power. Raymond, now you were closely watching the immediate media reaction when the bar letter dropped on Friday. Now, Laura, I, I think we can safely call this the Mueller meltdown, okay? As time went on, some of these media icons, they regained their footing and they started spinning new narratives. But as the bar letter dropped live and they absorbed the reality of it and what it meant, their reactions were telling. This is Chris Matthews. No further indictments, no charges against the president. Why was there never an interrogation of this president? How can they let Trump off the hook? You know, Laura, the emotional attachment was so severe here in the case of Chris Matthews. As he saw the narrative slipping away, you see him visibly overcome with anger. Yeah, anger rushes melting. in. If Brian Cranston wants to leave network on Broadway, Chris Matthews might be able to fill in with him for the evening or for him. Uh, now, Rachel Maddow also had a rough night that evening on MSNBC. It was shocking, devastating to MSNBC's narrative. So Maddow decide to decided to focus not on the letter, but on the process of delivering the letter. Watch. A Justice Department staffer or messenger of some kind, all we know is that she was wearing a North Face jacket. She brought, in fact, two letters to the committee in two separate manila envelopes. The Democratic Congressman Jerry Nadler was at his New York office. He was not in D.C., so the committee staff quickly made a digital copy and, and got the letter to him that way. Wait, it was Laura, a North Face minutia, jacket? News. Wait a second. A North Face jacket. Okay. Yes, it's unbelievable. She never really got to the marrow of the thing until halfway through the show. The ladies at The View just a few months ago, Laura, were singing an impeachment song all their own. Listen. I, no, I, I no. Mean, he goes to jail. He goes to I jail. Mean, he goes to jail. <laughs> But today they were a little less jubilant, Laura, especially about the exoneration of the president. No evidence that the guy in the White House conspired with Russia. What, what about what happened there? A little question. Well, I don't buy that he's completely exonerated. Obs obsonerated. Obsonerated. Right. we got to look well, that one up, Laura. Yeah. Do you have your thesaurus? Yeah, handy? I'm working on it.